what's up guys and welcome back to the ultimate developer youtube channel uh, first of all i'd like to say a happy new year to everybody and i hope everybody is well and safe so in today's tutorial we are going to create a 2d space shooter game i'm going to show you guys how to set it up how to code it and how to build it to a mobile device so if we just run this application quickly okay so here you see we can move our spaceship left and right we can fire at our aliens so when we miss an alien our lives decrease when we shoot an alien we have an explosion and our score increases uh, every bullet we shoot our bullets decrease on the top there as well and when we run out of lives or bullets we have a nice game over screen to show us that we are out of bullets or we are out of lives and we have our final score displayed over here so also guys while we're on this note i've set out a goal for the channel and i want to reach a hundred subscribers by the end of january 2021 so if you do enjoy this video and you do learn something please consider liking and subscribing to this youtube channel so that we can grow it together so with that being said let's get started okay so now that we have a new scene open or a new project open i just have a some 2d project and we can start setting up our ui also a quick side note this entire project will be on my github repository so you guys can just head over there download all of the assets and get started so the first thing we want to do is head over to file and go to build settings and we want to change our platform to android because we're going to build out to android we're going to click switch platform it's going to take a while so i'll see you guys on the other side of this okay so now that's done you should see the unity sign in line with the android and we're going to just add open scenes to our build on top there we're going to close that for now and we can start setting up our scene the first thing we're going to do is head over to the game tab and we're going to click on the drop down and for this tutorial i'm going to use a portrait 1920 by 1080 so we can just select that and you see we have a nice mobile looking platform now to work with okay so in our sample scene we just have a main camera for now the first thing we want to do is right click and create a canvas and we're going to rename this canvas to game screen so what i'm going to do quickly is i'm just going to import all of my artwork or the assets that i'm going to need for this project you can head over to the github repository and you can just download everything from there and once you set up with your project you can head over back here so i'm just going to do that quickly okay so the next thing we want to do is click on our game screen canvas head over to the canvas scaler and select the ui scale mode drop down and select scale with screen size we're going to put our reference resolution as 1080 by 1920 and we're going to say match width or height and we're going to say match to 0.5 Okay, so that basically will scale all of our objects with any screen size so the next thing we're going to do is open up our art folder and we're going to add in our background for our game and I have two backgrounds here you can choose whichever you want for now I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to drag and drop it into the scene and there you see it we have a nice background that looks similar to a galaxy and if you go into the game view you see it looks really nice okay we're going to rename this to background or we can just say background image okay the next thing we're going to do is take care of the top panel we're going to right click on game screen canvas we're going to come all the way down to UI and we're going to select image we're going to just scroll out a bit so that we can see the image we're going to go to the inspector we're going to click the rec transform you can to hold down shift and alt and we're going to select stretch this icon here to stretch it on the top of the screen and there you see it the next thing we're going to do is maybe just drag that down a bit so that it's a little bit bigger so that all of our items and text can fit nicely in it 
If we go to the game view, you see it looks nicely there. Then we're going to rename this to... Okay, cool. So the first thing we're going to do is add in our bullet image, our heart image, and our coin image. Okay, so we're going to start with the bullet image. I'm just going to right click on my top panel and I'm going to select UI and add a image. The next thing I'm going to do is just move this to the left hand side a bit and I'm going to rename this to bullet image. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to go into its inspector and I'm going to change the source image. I'm just going to drag and drop our bullet image that we already have and there you see it. Then I'm going to just scale this up a bit because I want it to look nice and big. And finally, I just want to give this a bit of rotation so that it looks kind of cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is right click on the panel background and go all the way down to UI and select text, text mesh pro. I'm going to move that a bit as well and I'm going to go into its inspector and increase the font size. Okay, I'm going to change the text to just a default value of 100 for now. And I'm going to grab the rec tool and just spread that out a bit. Okay, that looks good for now. So I'm going to do the same thing for the hearting and for the coin and I'm just going to speed up the video so you don't have to sit through the entire thing and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, and you see that it looks nice. We have a nice top panel with the bullets, the lives, and the coins all together. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add our buttons for left and right movement as well as the fire button. So we're going to right click on our game screen canvas. We're going to go down to UI and we're going to create an empty object we're going to rename this object to bottom controls so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on bottom controls and we're going to add an image we're going to bring that all the way down to our left hand side and we're just going to scale that up a bit and we're just going to change its, its source image to the left arrow that we already have okay we're going to just rename this to left control and we're going to duplicate this and we're going to rename this to right control. We're going to just click on right control and move it out a bit. And we're going to change the source image in right control to the right arrow. Okay, there we have it. A nice left and right button controls. Next thing we're going to do is add in our fire button. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to right we're going to click on right control. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to rename this to fire control. Or we could just say fire button and we're going to move that out a bit to the right hand side of the screen and we're going to change the source image to our fire button that we already have and there you see it it looks nice okay what you want to do is maybe just uh, stretch that out a bit on the x-axis just a little bit just to give it some width okay and I'm happy with that so one more thing or a few more things that we need to do before we move forward we should select all of our items and probably set an anchor to it so that in the case of it being a different size screen this would obviously find that point that it's anchored to and it would just look the same on our screens so if we just select our bullet image and our bullet text value we can go into the rec transform and we can press ctrl and alt and we can just select the top left we can just anchor that to top left we can do the same thing for lives and lives value text holder we can just anchor that to the top center and we can do the same thing for coins and coins value text holder we can anchor that to the right hand side then we can do the same things for the left and right control button we'll anchor those to the left bottom and we'll anchor the fire button to the bottom right okay so i think i'm happy with all of my ui set up okay so one more thing we need to add in is our spaceship so instead of adding an image to our a game and then changing the source image to our spaceship what we're going to do now 
Oh, what I found to work the best is if we drag our spaceship into our scene like that and we can probably change its order order in layer to one just so that it's in front of the background and then we can scale this down a bit we can position it just above where we think our buttons are and we'll just scale that up a bit more move it a bit down and I think that should be fine. So I'm happy with all of my UI elements. In the next video, we're going to be taking care of the left and right movement of the spaceship. So with that being said, let's jump right in.